Hey guys, so today we're going to be reviewing the Red Dragon GM300 and we're going to unbox it, go through the list of specs and then we're going to compare it to the Audio Technica AT2020. Let's get on with it. Hey guys, now that we're done with the unboxing, uh, pretty much all that you're gonna get with the Red Dragon GM300 is all of this. The microphone, shock mount, tripod stand, the USB cable, and the pop filter. Now, in this part of the video, I'm gonna talk into both of these microphones, uh, and I'm gonna mention it on the screen, which one you're listening to, so that you can know the differences between the voice quality, the difference of how it sounds. Let me know if you like this format and if the, it helps you make a better decision. Now, talking about the issues, uh, the GM300 doesn't have a lot of issues. Uh, it's It has good good build quality, the shock mount's really good. The tripod isn't that good, but that's the same case with the AD2020 or any other mic I've seen. The included tripod is always bad. Uh, the USB cable isn't amazing, it's just a standard USB cable, nothing special. Uh, the only issue that I saw was that it has uh, a volume button, uh, a volume gain button on the microphone, which has about uh, six levels. Uh, and sometimes when you restart or shut down your PC, it changes to the default setting rather than what you set. But I honestly don't think that it's a big issue because uh, you can set it within seconds. Uh, it's an inconvenience, but it's just what it is. Now, talking about the specs, why I'm comparing both of these microphones. Both of them are condenser microphones. Both of them have the same Cartier pickup pattern, which means to pick up more sound from the front and less sound from the sides or the back. And both of them have the same frequency response from 20,000 to uh, 20 to 20,000. The GM300 is a USB plug and play microphone. The AD2020 is an XLR microphone, so it needs an additional audio interface or a mixer to make it work. Right now, I'm running both of these microphones at the same settings, uh, 16 bits, 48,000 hertz, um, 192 uh, kilobits per second. Now, the differences in sound. The 80 I've had it for a while. Uh, it makes your sound very natural. It gives your voice that airy high pitch to it, like a uh, high treble. Um, I mean, it's okay, I like it, but I mean, it doesn't really suit my voice that much. But when we look at the Red Dragon, it amplifies the other end of the spectrum. It amplifies your boost and it also removes all of that air. So um, some t I think it suits my voice much better, but let me know what you guys think. Now, talking about the price, the AD2020, I've seen it go from... 18,000 to 22,000 and to make it work you need an additional uh, interface or a mixer which is going to cost you about 8 to 10,000 more uh, making your total around 30,000. The Red Dragon GM300 on the other hand it costs only 11,000 so the AD2020 is three times the price. I'm not saying that the AD2020 isn't good but my personal opinion is that it isn't worth three times the Red Dragon GM300 or the quality isn't three times as good. I mean, it, it might be 10, 15% better, but definitely not three times. Also, the AD2020, the XLR model has been around for like six, seven years now, and it's still selling for that price. Whereas the Red Dragon GM300 uh, just got launched and there are other budget mics 
uh, that are launching uh, within a few months that I've seen. And honestly, my opinion would be that I'm not sure if the Red Dragon is the best choice, but I definitely feel that AT2020 might be outdated. Let me know what you guys think.